Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 16 of the Yakatorian Troubles here in City Skylines. Yes, in the previous episode, yeah, we built this kind of Ponzi scheme kind of thing to draw in more people. And as you can see, I did a little bit of finishing touches uh, off screen while being in pause mode. And at the same time, I extended a little bit of land over here. Now you might think like, why? Well, because I noticed that during gameplay, noticed during gameplay that when we get out of here, that we still don't have any residential demand. But at the same time, we do have an unemployment from 7%. So I was thinking like, well, you know what? The best thing of getting more money in, lower taxes, increase like, you know, entertainment levels, etc., is by applying an oil area. And that is exactly what I'm going to do in this section over here. So I kind of a little bit, yes, I admit I prepared this area a little bit for it, you know, but it does not matter. I mean, the uh, uh, disaster still can keep coming. Like if we go here and we go into gameplay, you can see like use random disasters and dynamic weather, the whole thing. And of course, we do still play with the spawn mode off. Uh, like I said, I let the game run for a while also to see if something would happen, if we would create more residential demand, you know, by getting more peeps in through here did not happen also to this region uh, in the future i also uh, want to expand this because i have the new pack which we find under unique buildings and then it's like on the content creator packs it's all these things it's like from the skyscraper content creator pack by find bold yes so it would be a nice thing, you know, to have like all these skyscrapers, etc. here that would draw in more tourists, especially through here. And I don't know whether I, in the last episode, I used um, this harbor and uh, showed you this harbor. I, I'm not sure actually if I planted it in there. But also that draws in a lot of tourists and also those poor guys have to go through the park. Because in these parks are really... You know yielding a lot of profit but you know there's more than profit uh, in this game only we need also a little bit of more growth and that growth we don't see back here well the only thing to combat that is getting more money and lower the taxes and eventually well if we create like an industry over here probably that also increases the residential demand so the idea is simple. Uh, I narrowed also this area a little bit, so this this um, we have a, lot, a little bit more space, so we can actually um, export the oil. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, resume the game as of now, and I'm going to zone this area with uh, let's see an industry area. As you can see, I put a lot of oil here in the ground. And we are going to zone this entire area up. I also want some to do some offshore drilling. I mean, that's like, why not? You know? Okay, let's make this bigger. Because I have no idea how far offshore drilling actually goes. But let's make this huge. Big, big, huge oil area. Why? Why not? Because it is just possible. Great. Now, we work from the outside to the inside. And I know we always need, uh, let's say, uh, this main building first. It's also always so annoying, but we need it first. So I just plunk it down here, just on this, this road. And this is actually the road that I'm going to use. Yes, so we are starting here somewhere. Now, I want to know first in the oil area, this... Yeah, it's this thing. Offshore oil drill drilling platform. Pra <laughs> Let me check that out. So, okay. So, yeah, look at that, how far it stretches. It's like, wow. It's like uh, incredible. We can put one over here. Yeah, that works. So, it's a pity you cannot change the, the how far those things go. But let's see. I think we can put one there. And here, oh, look at that. And, uh, I 
don't know about here. Well, let's just check it out. Wow, look at that. So what we need to do now, let's check out the shipping lanes because, ah, look, here they cross the shipping lanes. I don't like that, so we're going to change that to there. And here it seems to be no problem at all. Okay. Now let's uh, select these objects. Uh, hold shift, shift, and shift, and align them with Ctrl H to the keyboard. Boop. And then I forgot this one. Okay, you two. Boop. There you go. So now we need oh that road, this one, the one-way roads. That's always the road that we are working with. And these guys need some kind of connection. Now I'm not sure whether this would suffice. I, I think so, yeah, it, I think it suffices, but hmm, okay. Um, okay, so let me select this option and then this option. We are going to use the parallel tool, this one. We're going to parallel this stuff to this keyboard. And then of course on the top on the other side and then with the minus key we are going to bring that in alignment with that road and i think this is the proper alignment which it is how nice and we make that go there there and there there i think that's far enough yeah i think so yeah okay enter so is it facing the, r the right direction? Ooh, okay. Let's fix this. It's not even facing the right direction. Yeah. Now for you guys who watch my series uh, more often, they know how I often work with uh, industries uh, like this. It's like I work with a one-way system. So in this case, uh, these guys will produce stuff, you know, the oil, and I also need pumps in here as well. Now we can see there is like a curvature in this road, so I'm going to use again the parallel mod to use this road and go from there, 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 and then and align it. That's perfect, thank you. And then go all the way to there, and then to there and then to there and ta-da let's see does this connect yeah it connects now we can introduce the pumps we can introduce these large oil drilling rigs okay now the question is let me check this out on which side yes we need to put them on the right side that's just the way how it goes how it works best in this game put those things on the right side because yeah it, it has all to do with loading you know coming okay so from this point on I say like you will go even further yeah, home and then from here you can connect it up to there and then here we are going to bend uh, bend this stuff because they have to go back as well um, yeah, we can use for that like the highway roads. Um, uh, let's see what's the best option is like. Uh, yeah, so make this go straight forward like that. And then create, how far is this by the way? It's eight. Okay, so four by four. We do four by four, yeah, yeah. And that's like a weird wiggle. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, then do it manually like that. Okay, and then from here we can make an offshoot that goes into that direction, but that's for later. Okay, now we take this building again, we put it there, and there, and there. Now the thing is, we have now a loop that goes around. So these guys, they can loop around, they can basically produce all the stuff that they need. And uh, yeah, so okay, now we need to power these guys, so we give them a simple parking solar. I love this thing, you know, it's like, it's cheap, 
it gives like enough power 60 megawatt i mean it's not the it's not the, the most of it but it usually does the trick and it gives parking space and some entertainment so what do you want more like that now i also see a little bit of i don't know let me see i think the alignment to the key wall is a little bit too low i guess so let me select this thing and bring it up i also wonder if i just drag it a little bit back to the road like that yeah how does that look let me see it's not bad it's not bad at all no i can do the same thing with this one okay. now let's uh, grab the the water pipe So, now, we are producing. Nice. That's nice. Now, they have to put their stuff into something, which is, or are, silos. Now, how big are the silos? Let's check it out. The silos are, these are the bigger ones. So, how big are these things? Well, let's just put one here. And let's just see. Because we can just take this road again, and we put this road... Let's grab this thing, this thing, and we put this road like here. Yep, immediately those trucks are coming in. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, we get this thing and we put it on the other side there. Sorry. Next time better. Better luck. Uh, from there we go to there. Nice. Then uh, we need to connect this up. So, okay. What's the best option here mm. just make just make a curve like this like that and then go there does not seem to hurt I mean let's set this to fill so they can fill up are these guys still complaining about water really well, here you have water I don't even know what these guys are producing. How much do they produce? 11,200. Is that the same amount as these? No, these produce less. Ah, okay. Now, I would have expected that this thing would already draw in some... ...cargo trucks, like, you know, I had them on this side. And the cargo trucks were coming. Now they don't. Is it maybe because they cannot go anywhere from here? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know this game. <laughs> I don't, I have no... Uh, okay. Anyway. What's the distance between these two? It's like... Let's check it out. It's like 13. Really? 13. Okay. 13. 13 it is. We make a 13 here. And we go to there Google this away take it again from here then we take again this tank and we put it here and if this is slightly overlapping so we're going to put this there why not in here let's say we bulldoze why are these things so freaking long <laughs> I don't know okay let's make this like that and then roughly from here to there a little bit of eye work and then we make a bend here six by mm, can be better can be better how much was this six by four okay yeah let's use the move it mod and slide this a little bit forward so probably we get a four by four ah four by four yeah thank you oh the trucks are coming that's nice so we continue, mm, let's see, from here we select this option, still no uh, disasters yet, so, well, that's not a disaster by itself, so, yeah, anyway, from here to there, yeah, and then we delete this, even delete this, and then from here, this is a 5 by 5 yeah, they can still enter there, Perfect. Grab this. No, 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 no. We grab this thing again and we put it. 
yeah we can put it there no problem because i can always move this thing around a little bit no problem and then we delete this road in between we grab the tank again and we put it over here in between yep and then we move this thing slightly to the left and then we have like four things great so all these oil producing guys are now bringing the stuff to these things now we can also apply a little bit of those fewer uh, those not fewer those smaller things so we can utilize this as much as possible let's say this space yeah and let's say fill and fill and the whole goal of this uh, idea is is just by earning a lot of gobs of money so we can reduce taxes in a later stage of the game yes uh, so let's grab this thing again so where can we put another one here uh, yeah we can slightly moving it so it's not overlapping perfect I still want to put one over here I feel that it is possible so let me grab this ah uh, yeah it's slightly annoying that can we put this in the corner is that I never like pl pl placing buildings into corners actually but really does it matter you know, just putting it like that into the corner I don't think so you know it doesn't really matter yeah so all these people here that are producing oil they bring it to these storage facilities now they have to go back to their facilities these facilities and these facilities so in order to do so we split the the road here again with the highway road highway segment from here we can just make a, a bend from we have to hook it up to there so let's make it a little bit straight and we make a bend of five by ooh, five like that and then let's see how far is this it's like 12 so we add like roughly a seven which is this and a five by five and this is not entirely mm, not entirely up to spec yeah it's a little bit bulgy but we can fix that with the move it mars you know just monkey around a little bit with it like that yeah that's okay so let's make sure that this is like lane mathematical lane mathematical wise so i change this piece of road also in a one laner so we have like one lane and one lane coming into two lanes so we use the node controller to make this bend much more wider like that a 15 and we use the traffic manager to say like okay you go there and whoa <laughs> again you go <laughs> what am i missing over here <laughs> what, 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 is, what is wrong with this thing uh, <laughs> oh my gosh i'm making a sprint screen for, i don't know what's going on here uh, i don't know so no crossings here and everybody can just move on and no issues <laughs> no, no tissues although okay let's turn the speed to 60 60 also here 60 there 60 everywhere by the way 60 is a common speed that i use usually in industry areas so we are getting there guys we are getting there and uh yeah 60 60 60 that's nice that's nice so uh, no, uh, nothing going on yet on the, I have this stuff enabled, so disasters, no disasters are coming yet, well it can happen from time to time, so yeah, I mean, okay, so let me, oh, a sinkhole is coming, okay, me and my big mouth, hmm, Okay, if the screen appears a little bit more bluish to your eye right now, it might be because of my uh, blue filter that I'm using on my Windows computer, because right at this time that I'm recording this, uh, the blue filter is turning off. <laughs> I can see it in the game. Okay, sinkhole. And... 
Pause the game. Yeah. Z zone it with a uh, district, a little one. And we call it the sinkhole. Finally, we have something to name uh, something again. The sinkhole of 1504-2039. Thank you. It was nice. Nice knowing you. Where is this anyway? All the way there. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, so in Windows I turn the blue filter on again. I have no idea if, if you will see this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so these guys, they are now filling up with the oil, right? Right. Do we have enough space for all this mess? I don't know. But uh, anyway, um, this building, by the way, I want to put it somewhere else. I don't know where. Select this building and we move it all the way over here. At the same time, we also have like a maintenance building. We can also put that there. And then, you know, the worker barracks, they will come later. Uh, I can connect this up to there, but no, let's not do that uh, at this moment. Great. So these guys, they need now to put their stuff to the f uh, factories. Yeah. So. We have to make a road that goes around here in a very tight turn because we want to stay on the right side of the of the road which is okay so we select this road um, i'm going to there and we select this road which is going then basically from here to is this a straight line no okay let's let me grab that um, uh, network note that the uh, parallel tool again from there to there to there 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 yeah that's much nicer then bring it a little bit further away let's say a 30 yeah i think that's enough to there to there to roughly there nice so this will be a tight turn but that's no problem Nothing is a problem here. We can do everything. Just turn this thing off and use this thing. And how far is this? Four units. Okay, so basically... Uh, yeah, just make three by three. Hmm, okay. Just make it a little bit wider. I think uh, there is nothing unusual about this option, I think. No. Let me check if we can still use this. What is wrong with this thing? I press shift S and it's like... What the hell? You go there. Traffic manager is a little bit, uh, I don't know, out of shape. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, remove these things also. No crossings here, etc, etc, etc. Nice. Now, we will create um, the factories. Okay, so those will be Nafa Crackers. Okay, let me check this out because we are missing zoning again. Zoning, zoning, zoning. I think because uh, of that um, parallel mod, I think um, for some reason it does not... Yeah, take zoning into account. I don't know. Don't ask me. But anyway, we are creating a Nafa Cracker plant uh, over here. So we give it a little bit of space. Otherwise, you know, traffic can build up. And this thing we put over here because this thing creates the petroleum. Yeah, so petroleum there. Um, I want to put that other Nafa Cracker over here. So I put another petroleum there so we can take this one we can put that nicely over here yes so let's see how is this working out now not bad mm -hmm. yeah let me think there's enough space here also to create like an offshoot that would mean like make another road like this that goes straight straight behind the other ones is that fitting it is fitting like that 
and the offshoot comes from here point to there and then here we take another nafa cracker and we put it there we take another one of these we put it there and then here let me see how we're going to do this i take this road i bring it all the way to there and then yeah we can do this manually like that and then put a little bend into it and w wait a second do i select this option and yeah i do want these guys over here as well so how much do we have now of each we have three na nafa crackers and we have like five of these things so actually we need an another nafa cracker nafa cracker but no. <laughs> Okay, that's a weird name anyway, but um, can I put a nafa cracker there? That's the question. Uh, let me see. Like that. It just fits. I'm so happy with that. Okay, let's turn this off. And we bring it manually over there. Also here. Actually, I want to have another one, so we have five of each of them. That would be nice. But these Nafa crackers, you know, those are big buildings. Um, so let's select this one and let's put that one straight over there. Yeah, okay. So these guys, yeah, these guys, they pump out toward these factories. Yeah? So they also want to go back to their facilities over here. So they, they want to go to this road. No, not this road, this road, yes. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, using a one lane road again from here and here. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, let's turn this on and this on. We bring it a little bit further. We also bring this a little bit further. Um, this needs to go that way and that way and and this also uh okay so we have two roads that are okay okay so let me think for a moment because now i'm confusing myself a little bit delete this 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 you know let's bring this together i think that will do the trick yeah going from there to there and then from here we go to there and from there we are taking the highway road this one that leads back into the into this area uh, that means like we need to make a bend uh, seven units okay <laughs> from there to there and let's make a bend how far is this four okay, let's turn this thing off here we go again three by three and yeah they can do their business and then from here so these things they have to um, put their stuff into warehouses and from that on we need to go to bring it towards this station and even those guys have to go back again to wherever they're coming in that is like probably here yeah because here you know we have all the facilities so um how are we going to do it uh, we take this road and now we need warehouses lots of them well lots of them i mean let's see we can and then they need to be big so and on the right side which makes this okay going that way i think yes and here as well right this space is not used uh, that's a pity how can I make that usable? Let's see. Let's grab the highway from there and take this, this, and let's monkey around a little bit. Three by three. Three by uh, roughly that way and then that way. So what I'm doing now is creating space for more more warehouses so those will be then there here we will make a bend of four by four and now we have a little bit more space for a few more warehouses warehouses are key four by four and then this will connect up to there 
Great. So, warehouses. So we grab this thing. Warehouses. We take the big boys. These ones. One over there. Ooh, this would be nice. Yeah, we will f we will finagle that in there. Come on, you damn thing. Why are you messing around with me? Like one there, another one there, another one there. We will fiddle that. No, no problem. So this will go more there into the corner like that. This will also fit there. No problem. We will move this slightly to the left. We will move this one slightly to the left. Uh, we move this one slightly to the left and also this one so it's not touching this Nefa cracker anymore. Nice. That is working. Well, let me remove this thing. Uh, yeah, this looks a little bit yeah, awkward somehow, but I could make it straight. But yeah, this this thing is also Well, give me a moment to make it straight. I'll be right back. Well, that was like an easy fix. So we are going now to fill these guys with uh, balanced. Uh, we start with, uh, let's see, petroleum. Yes, and these guys are using plastics. Great. Uh, let me see. We have a little bit of space in between here. Now let me move this slightly to the right like that. So great. Uh, yeah, we have a little bit of like the thing here with uh, lane math, but we even can solve that by, let me check this out. See, let's see what is possible. We can move this thing slightly to the left. Let's see how far we can go. Yeah, I mean, they're overlapping, but because they're like, you know, all concrete stuff anyway. We can take the one lane road here, apply it here and here. And in theory, if I say now here, shift S, it still does it. Hmm, I don't know what's wrong with that thing. The only problem now is that this guy is automatically going there. Yeah, that's not a good that's that's not a good thing. So Hmm, how are you going to fix that? Uh, I could say like um, this, you know, go left or straight on. I guess so. I mean, what else? Not you, not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. So, let's see what happens with this truck. Where is he going? Yeah, you go straight on. Yeah, no problem. Great. Now, all these factories who are supplying all these warehouses also do want to go back. And they have to go back into here. And here we can actually apply uh, some form of lane management by actually going there. So like that. So let's select this thing. Like that. And we can basically pump in a two lane road in there and let's t uh, let's hope yeah here we have the same thing again well, let's see how that works out so let's see from here let's turn this off as well we make a tree by hmm okay let's take wait a second wait 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 wait, wait. um moving this away and then we are taking I'm taking again this highway road which will be coming from here to there uh, well that does not deserve any beauty prize but so far it's going well I don't know what is wrong with uh, no with this thing but it does definitely not help currently so we need to do this manually so you go there and here they have no choice so I need to change this lane also into straight on and right like that and they can pick their lane 
Yeah. So just to avoid that these guys are sitting in each other's way, you can see they're already driving around. Now, what I need to do now is connect this thing to this thing. And I want it connected to this roundabout. Yes. So I've been thinking about that since I start thinking about this whole situation. Like, okay, oh, I'm going to do it. Um, also, we can use the, the plastic and the petroleum to create uh, some form of you know, oil-based products. The question is... We are not going to do it here. We're going to do it somewhere else, not here. Yeah, although those guys do get a lot of, uh, you know, that, that that creates a lot of profit, though, you know, that stuff. You get some electricity. So I'm thinking, uh, oh, wait a second, maybe I can do it here. So we go here into the unique warehouses, factories, and what thing do we require? Not this one. Not this one. I think this one. Yeah, this one. The household factor. Oh, it's too big. <laughs> That's too... That's so pity. Hmm. Still, though, uh, let me plank one down here. What we can do still is use this thing and then make a... You know, a nice straight line. Wait, 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 wait a second. We can utilize... A little bit of this space over here to to actually use that to our advantage uh, why is this road like that okay let's mm, wait 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 I want this to be like that yeah and like that like that <laughs> Yeah, we're getting there. That is sort of the idea I have in mind. So we bring this over to there. Yeah, and then flip this around. Delete you. Yep, like that. And here we have to monkey around a little bit with the move it mod. So jup 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 like that. And let's connect this stuff. Yeah up like that perfect so let's grab this thing and we put it right over there yeah now this is a unique building you can not make another one so the only thing to use more of those guys is just to select them and copy them i know that's like a little bit uh, cheating sort of you know to get more out of it and uh, yeah my thought is like why not you know why not so okay let's select this thing uh, no not, not like that let's get as close as possible to that road and then let's make the bend of three by three here and from here we are getting back to there there yeah so we can get another one of these Select it and copy it, and we put the final one over there. Whoa! <laughs> uh, okay, that creates like a little bit of an issue with the land. Um, can we smooth that out? Let me check, check, check that out. Let's see, smoothie, smoothie. I think. I think I think it's doable. Let me select this option and select this whole area. Control H to twink, over there. So it dips down a little bit into the ground. Okay, well that's not a pain. Okay, uh, let me see to yeah to utilize this tool a little bit. And actually we have like a metro there. No. And that metro line would function perfectly to create like a simple pathway that leads towards that area as well. So let me grab this. There's a lot of people walking around here. So from there to there, to there, and then to there. Yeah. So, from here, it's now a matter of turning this thing into a highway, and that needs to go basically all the way to there, 
under this water and attach it to this roundabout then it will come back here and from there we need to reattach it uh, somewhere <laughs> somewhere okay so we take the highway we take the two lane highway which is this one uh, let's see we take it from uh, here like that yes let's see where we where are we going i need to make it go underground here to attach it to this roundabout okay we have to go underground nice don't you love it to go underground okay let's select this option you know i'm blessed currently you know that i don't have that much uh uh, uh disasters as, as of this moment so where do I want to come out roughly? So I want to go to this roundabout here. Here. Okay. So I have roughly an idea. A 12, a 13 by 13. 13 by a 13. Yeah. That would do. So let's turn this off. And let's make this. Thank you, phone. And then let's make this go down to minus, I don't know, 24. And I don't know how far we should go down even here. But I'm not going to take any chances, but I'm going to minus 36. Yeah. And then from here to there. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty deep. I'm wondering if I can connect there, you know, to that thing. Let's just see. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting because this is like, let's say, a six. I'm going to bend it around. Six by six, that's like a 12. So I'm going to get this up to minus 24, like that. And then we do another six by six to like that. And we do to minus 12. Yep that will work and the connection point is there right okay so I'm making a 4x4 four four. I stay at minus 12 and then here let's see how we can do it best where is the connection point I, uh, I think here so yeah this is like the 12 marker so let's see how we go Yeah, something like this. So, oh yeah, perfect, perfect. So from here we connect it up, boink, straight to there. That's nice. Okay, let's use uh, this thing again and say like, um, you have to stop. And also the speed of this, this road needs to slow down to 60. I say even like 40 on the last bit. And here, what the monkey is this? Huh? Am I missing something here? I don't know, traffic manager maybe? Let's do the control shift click thing. How about here? Well, that's pretty odd. That is pretty odd, actually. Let me see, how about notes? Yeah, this is, th there's nothing wrong with the notes. I am a little bit baffled by this. Let me make this bigger. Like that. Let me see if there is any Let me follow you. Where are you going? Household plastic factory delivering unique factory to... Okay, follow. So, yeah, you're going there. You're getting underground, under the water. That's fine. So where do you end up? 
You get the pens, I know, then you get out there, and then... Well, without issues, uh, he drives to the roundabout, so... Yeah, that's not really an issue. What we still need to apply here, on this road, is a few warehouses for those unique factory buildings. And I think we can only apply these. I think. The road, uh, the landscape is a little bit, yeah, bulky around here. So let me fix that first. A little bit more flat, so we can work with that. Here we go. Yeah, so a little bit of smoothifying. And I think, you know, with unique factory buildings, I say like uh, just one. To, I think that's enough. Put them to unique factory products and also this one to unique factory products. And then in these buildings, we say like yank it up to 150, yank it up to 150, and yank it up to 150. And I think the same thing goes for this, these buildings who are on fire. Uh, no, they, that's fine. Uh, these production buildings. Oh no, though they also have the same thing. Okay, so they need some services. Now a tsunami is coming. They need services uh, like policing and garbage and stuff. So let's take care of that while we still have some sanity left. But these guys can also go around. So let me well, let me plonk down one there and one over there and one over there. You can never have enough of these of these guys. Can I? Mm, snuck one in here. Snuck. Oh, mamma mia. Let's see if we can just finagle a little bit with this thing. Yeah, we can. I mean, it fits uh, without causing issues. Let's see where we require those things more here also with these guys so we put one over here so they can drive there and let's see i think yeah that's enough and now about policing and what i like about the policing thing is like the little that little thing over here this one you know the security post it's just tiny but effective we put one over there we'll put one over there and they have only two cars, but it's enough. Put one over there. Put one over there. Put one in between here. And let's see. We put one there. Put one there. We have one over there, which is fine. And even here with these guys. So they don't uh, goof around too much. Uh, okay. Then a little bit of parking see parking parking lots these ones we can put them here 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 and here and then in this whole area also parking lots are very important for all these guys who are working here I don't know where that tsunami is I don't have a, I don't have time for it either I don't want to watch it either it's only a 2.2 so wherever it's coming from yeah, I don't expect too much troubles from it. Ah, it's upgrading, that's nice. So here you go. We have a parking lot there, and there, and there, and there. Just smacking these things everywhere and nowhere. There, and there, and there. And then this one is a tree, so we can put those here, and here, there, and there. And hopefully, this whole thing will give us more cash. Money mula in the end. Oh yeah, these guys also need parking. So put a big one over there and a big one over there. So these guys, they come out here. They can now drive towards this thing. And then basically they have to, you know, they have to get back to using this road which I already taken into account. So the only thing I need to do is actually connect this road to this road because then they can drive to these things. Yeah. 
So we take this road and we actually change that road into a highway road like this. And then we connect it up somewhere here where it does not bother anybody. So that would be then, uh, let's see. Um, just thinking roughly here ar around that area. How I'm going to do it with that train line over there. I'm just thinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Little earthquake over there. Takes me completely off guard. Where was I? Here. Trying to figure out where to put actually this road. What is the best spot to do it? Mm, because even these guys export, you know, to this thing. So in theory, you know, you should it. You should put it here. <laughs> Make it even more complicated. Um, but it's not impossible. We can do everything. So we only stop snapping. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So we make this go up by a six. And we bring it over there, like that. And then from here, bring it down. And then from there to. Now we need the snapping, thank you, to there. And we flip this around. You go there. And you go there. Now let's see, we can apply some lane math over here by putting a two laner over here, two laner over there. Well, also two, la two laner over there. I mean, why not? That works fine. And apply these things. And I am not sure, but I think we have two nodes very close to each other. It did appear so. Okay, so let's drag this one a little bit back and also this one. This one is not needed. Uh, 2.2, so yeah, this is working fine. They can change lanes here. Yeah, I think we have like a working situation, uh, guys, over here. So everything is now making its round. And can we see what this thing is now earning us uh, already or not yet? Okay, it still has to build up a little bit before it really kicks in because I just connected everything sort of up. But uh, yeah, it can now actually uh, export using this thing. Also using this train line, which is going to this area. That's nice. Um, the main road is all sort of yeah running over here. So it would be nice, for example, if these guys, let's say if they export we can make a connection but look at the height you know it's like ridiculous and we also have like ooh, pillars now let's see can we move those a little bit just a little bit to the right a little bit to the right like that in such a way that it's still okay yeah it's still okay Maybe we can lower this road a little bit. I don't know. Why Why is that road so high anyway? I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys and girls, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will see um, you know, what this will yield. Um, um, yeah. I will do a few off-screen uh, little bit of uh, tinkering around here and there. Where it's needed. And uh, yeah. And I hope to see you soon again in episode, uh, let me say, episode 17. Yeah, episode 17. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, see you. Bye-bye.